welcome back. Today I'm with Charlie and I've just finished making her wedding dress. So normally when I do like a sort of wedding dress review video, I just show you the dress that I've made and tell you about it. But Charlie has an important message that she wants to talk to, to you about her wedding dress because when we were designing it, the fabric was more important than anything. So why is that? Um, okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm Charlie. Um, and I came to Vicky with the idea of uh, creating a wedding dress. And genuinely, when I first spoke to you about it, I thought there's no way this is possible. Um, so I was diagnosed maybe three years ago now with um, ASD, which is Autism Spectrum Disorder. And um, so I am an autistic person. And for me, something I struggle with every single day is how things feel on my skin. So for someone who doesn't have autism, you know, your fabric might be a little bit scratchy or it might feel uncomfortable, especially things like chill and things like that. But for me, um, my outfit choices are 97% of the time based around how they feel. Um, I have no concept of how something looks, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes that's actually a genuine thing. Um, for me, even if I'm having a bad day and I'm feeling really stressed and I'm feeling really uncomfortable, even something around my neck, just like this, a cotton fabric, starts to scratch. And when I become overstimulated, just every the fabric starts to hurt, the lights become too bright, everything becomes too loud, and I yeah. overload, and it's actually yeah. called sensory overload. And so for me... I'm going to be stressed on my wedding day anyway, not yeah. stressed, but I'll be a little bit nervous. So the thought of walking down the aisle wearing like sequins or something was just yeah. starting to freak me out. Yeah, or something that's going to be tight or yeah, restrictive and, tight, and uncomfortable. Restrictive. And for me, it's, it, um, and anyone who's ever, I'm a dance teacher, anyone who's ever done dance class with me will know when I need to get the clothes off, it doesn't just go, <laughs> you'll see me teach and I just go, ah, and just throw it across the room. And, people and go, you don't want to be doing that walking down the aisle. Down the aisle. Yeah, the so, aisle going, yeah. so we started, yeah. we had an idea of a design, yeah. but we started by looking for the fabric before yeah. anything else. So you knew you wanted lilac, you yeah. knew you wanted something stretchy yeah. and soft that would feel really good. Like on a swimsuit, skin. I think. So we, we have found a swimsuit this really beautiful. Good like a sort of microfiber lycra, I'm not sure exactly what it's called. Um, it's just a really soft lycra, but it isn't shiny like swimsuit lycra. And it just feels, it's so, it's soft. so soft, it's so soft. It's so soft. And I've done soft. things like I haven't put labels in the dress, so Charlie's not gonna be irritated by labels rubbing, or um, I've got hanging loops on it here on the hanger, but I've just pinned them on so she can take them off before she puts it on. Mm. So you're not gonna be worrying about anything like that. So hopefully yeah. on the day it will yeah. all be good. I'm so excited yeah. and I'm so grateful. Oh, I'm grateful thanks for asking me to make yeah, it for so, you. So I think the really important message here is be yourself on your wedding day. Mm -hmm. You don't have to feel like you have to conform to all these traditions and the dresses that you see in wedding magazines. It's way more important to choose something that suits you and suits your needs and your style. And Go with that instead of mm. what you're told by the wedding industry that you should go with. So just be you on your wedding day. Choose what suits you as a couple. Choose what suits you as a dress or an outfit. It doesn't even have to be a dress. You can wear whatever yeah. you want. Do whatever you want. So have a fabulous wedding and just be yourself. Yay. So Thank you, Charlie. Thank, thank you, you so, you much, so much, much for talking to us about this because it's you. such an important message. Yeah, so thank you so much. I can't wait to see the wedding. And pictures. also, and go to go to Rockstars and Royalty for your wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> she knows how to do everything. Oh, thank you. <laughs> cool. Catch you soon. Bye. Bye. So this is Charlie's dress. So we went for a design that had a really low back and a plunging neckline to show off her tattoos. And um, it was quite a challenging shape to make because there's nothing to hold the um, bust part around. So we ended up putting some elastic just down the sides to help hold it in place. So there's no fastening on the halter neck, it's sewn together. So again, that eliminated the need for any fastenings that might have been irritating for Charlie. So the dress is tight down to her hips. It did ride up a little bit as she moved, which I, I don't know how to get rid of that. I don't do a lot of stretch fabric, so this was a quite a good learning curve for me. So then you got the split at the front and then a train at the back, and you can see how beautifully the fabric moves as she walks in it. And then to go with it, I made a veil, which is ivory at the top and then dip dyed purple at the bottom to go with her purple and lilac color scheme and to go with her gorgeous purple hair. So Charlie got married at the end of last year and here are some pictures from her and Jeremy's wedding day.
Thank you for choosing me to make your dress, Charlie. It was so much fun working with you. And thanks for the challenge of creating something outside of the kind of styles and fabrics that I normally um, work with. So I really enjoyed doing it. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be back soon with some more videos.